what's up everyone this is wicked and yeah i'm finally back with uh, a new video after i've been off a long period of time so today we're gonna be talking about lenny's board um stock light rom and what do i mean by that this is a stock touch with rom which uh, is odexed the latest version is odexed i saw it on the xda thread by the way, the links are posted in the description. Um, I saw there that there are also some Diodex variants of this ROM. But um, today I'm testing out the latest version. And um, let me just um, set up the screen timeout to a bigger value because that's better for video purposes. So, um, this is a really stock ROM rooted. Odex and what does it mean? Being Odexed means that you will no longer be able to theme your ROM like you would be on a Diodex ROM. Odex ROMs are, um, um, you know, do have a um, bunch of apps, a couple bunch of apps that uh, come with an uh, Odex extension and uh, those are meant to make your device move faster after a long period of time and uh, with this video I'll talk about the performance the smoothness how the ROM management works on this uh, ROM and uh, I have to tell you from the beginning I won't do a battery comparing test comparison test because my battery is kind of fucked up right now and um, it is because I overcharged it many times you know I was driving more than 8 hours a day and uh, my device was you know charging to 100% every single time and I was using Waze and you know this charging charging this charging charging that will ruin your battery out um, yeah I haven't noticed that um, this ROM drains a lot of battery even though my battery is fucked up. I flashed this ROM at 100% and played a little bit with and right now it's at 97%. It's kind of hard to see because of that uh, um, wallpaper. But let's get uh, right into business. The first thing I noticed about this ROM and uh, it's kind of a cons because I don't really like it is that the long pressing the home button and uh, simple pressing the option key will do the same thing so long pressing it will get into the task manager the recent tab panel actually if I simple press the option key it will do the same this is a message a message to the developer make your mind make up your mind you either choose between long pressing this or simple pressing this because both of them are really creepy to have the same option on so for example if one, if I want to get into the launcher options if I accidentally press this if I'm uh, you know used to it uh, on KitKat to do the option thing I'll just have to long press the option key in order to get the settings here by the way, default settings, default wallpapers, wallpapers. You won't get uh, any you know, fancy things. This is a stock ROM. You'll get everything included on stock, except the Samsung's blo except Samsung's bloatware, of course. And uh, of course, you won't have any problems with with it or whatsoever. Okay. So the second thing that I noticed is that uh, in the recent tab panel you have this strange white background so no transparent background and uh, this isn't really disturbing but I think this has to deal with the lag I mean if you watched my previous video I mean for a long long time ago uh, you'd have noticed that on every single touch with ROM there was some strange lag going on here and right now, as you may see, it is pretty smooth. I can deal with it. It is pretty smooth. And a bunch of apps I have opened, actually, all the apps that I have installed 
on the by default on this ROM I have opened and there seems to be no lag. I mean it's slightly you know stuttering but it's not such a big deal. And I think this has to do this was the lag factor was actually I don't know how to say maybe improved um, by this white wallpaper background wallpaper which will reduce the lag because if the GPU or the CPU was uh, again and again checking out the transparency and the latest back background that uh, you've been on for example if you opened the music player and afterwards you enter this you would have a blurred background of the music player and that may cause may cause some lag that may have caused some lag on uh, on the previous builds by far in my experience this seems to be a stock rom which is stable rock stable i would say um so these are some widgets i'd prefer on this wallpaper wallpaper this this clock widget instead of this even though this has some really fancy beautiful um, you know weather widget well, this is the weather widget as you may see fancy, fancy things going on lightings and so on um, beside of this I told you that this ROM is rooted so you won't have to worry about rooting with uh, by flashing a different uh, zip in the TouchWiz recovery, the Team Win recovery, sorry. Um, and it also comes with a interesting theme, which I don't like because, you know, it's my personal opinion. I don't like whiten out ROMs. And why do I mean by whiten out? This, these things. I like to have, I would like to have personally, this is my opinion. Maybe you like other things. This is subjective, you know. I would like to have a dark UI and I will give you one major reason for that. This device and other Samsung devices are running AMOLED screens. AMOLED screens will consume less battery if they are used on dark you know, colors, dark user interface. By using a white user interface, of course it looks yeah, fancier, but it will consume automatically much more battery. So. Yep, this is a thing that you want to take into consideration. I would like a dark user interface, and if I find if I will find a ROM with dark user user interface, I will definitely flash it and tell you my opinion about it. But this this whitish this whitish thing right here, let me show you. This is I don't really like it. Okay, it looks good. I have no complaints about it. It looks good, but you know, I don't like it. This isn't the developer's fault, this is the Samsung's uh, own uh, way of making things. They've upgraded their firmware to a more brighter, you know, environment, let's say like that. Okay, so, uh, as you've seen here, you are able to see that I've installed S2X. S2X is an app that will allow you to customize the kernel. The kernel that comes with this ROM is the Imperium kernel and I will show you right away. Okay, so let's go into more section and about device and as you may see here it runs Imperium Nodic Pop kernel uh, version 4.4. I uh, couldn't I wasn't be I wasn't able to you know get back in touch with all the updates that uh, I missed when I was uh, you know busy with my exams but I have to say that this kernel is uh, a really good friend for you in terms of RAM management so as you may see I'm running a couple of apps I won't say thousands of apps but if I open up messages it opens up if I open up S twix it opens up. If I open up, let's see a more, you know, the Play Store opens up. I opened Play Store about 10 minutes ago and it opens up, so it hasn't been killed. 
um, everything is working perfectly smooth on this ROM. If you want to have a rock stable ROM with all the features working, because I tested all of them, including the Bluetooth, let me l let me just show you because I bought a pair of um, of Bluetooth speakers, and I will show you that this actually works. Let me turn on the speakers, and uh, I will show you that it's gonna be connected. So yeah, it's connected right now. It's really hard to see, but I will do a music test, sound test, just a little bit. So yeah, it's working perfectly. So Bluetooth works perfectly compared to the Cyanogen mode, later Cyanogen mode, which still has problems with uh, you know, the marshmallow with the Bluetooth capabilities. Okay. So, um, I was talking of the RAM management. It is by far, um, I wouldn't say the greatest, because there are better, um, you know, on um, Cytogen mode, maybe. I, I'm not thinking if, yeah, maybe there there are faster RAM management uh, settings on uh, Cyanogen mode but uh, on TouchWiz this is great so I have no complaints about it or whatsoever so let's get into the task manager and I'll show you so it's 131 gigabyte of 178 that's pretty nasty but if I clear all the memory which I won't do which I actually don't recommend doing so 31 application closed and right now free 0.90 gigabyte of um, 178 so this is great um, so I talked the speed factor let's talk about the Astwix this is an application as I told you which will allow you to customize the kernel settings as you may see the CPU uh, max frequency you won't be able to overclock this is stock uh, 1.89 1.9 actually you can customize a hot plug, set it to Intel plug, which is a better one. So by setting an Intel plug afterwards, you will be able to customize the profile depending on what your what applications you run. If you want to have a more battery life, you should browse between these. Max online CPUs, again an interesting feature. Um, the GPU can set up the GPU governor, CPU, GPU max frequency, the charging uh, capabilities. I like to set this at 1.9 1 1 .9 ampere hour and uh, um, it will charge your device even faster. That's why my, my battery got fucked up because I overcharged it. <laughs> okay, miscellaneous tweaks and some infos about the kernel. Hey, I know at the ending of this video you will say blah blah, yeah, you talked blah blah blah, nothing about the performance of this ROM. But I really want to ROM, I don't play a lot of games on the on my phone. Actually, I don't think on my KitKat I have... I don't think I have even one game on the, the phone. I'd like my device to be rock stable because you know it's really nasty to drive with a car maybe more than 500 kilometers and um, then you'll get false closes and so on so I'd like to have a rock stable ROM smooth performance I should be able to switch back and forth between ways and power amp and uh, you know other GPS navigation systems applications uh, very fast and uh, I would like to be also battery friendly so I shouldn't be I wouldn't be necessarily made to um, you know, charge again and again my phone. By the way, the battery percentage is at 92% and I started the review at 98 or 97 I believe. So, yep, this is a pretty decent battery life. I would say it's great, but I can't compare to others because my battery got fucked up in the last two days. So latest two days so uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much it about this ROM. I hope you like it. If you did, and you are really glad that I'm back, please make sure you thumbs up the video. If you have any installing question, installing problems, uh, or any question related to this ROM or others, please make sure you visit the comment section right down below, write it there, and I will reply as soon as possible. Also, all the links for these ROMs for this ROM is uh, are linked into the description, so make sure you visit that too. So thank you for watching. Wicked is out, guys. Stay tuned for more Android ROMs video based on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Bye bye.